In this tutorial video, I intend to show you how you can load an audio source in Unity from a script. Let's start off by having a new scene. To the scene, I'm going to add a empty game object. Let me just rename this to music object. The script that's going to load the audio is right here. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's the file that we're going to load is called music one. You have to have the files that you're going to load in a folder called resources. Let's do a play. And you can see that when I press play, the audio source was added and the clip music was loaded. Let's just look here. If I were to manually do this, these are the things. The first command adds the component. That's what this command does. It adds the component. And the second command right here, audio clip, the second command basically assigns music one as the audio clip. That's what this command does. Let's do another one here. Let's go back to the music object. Let's take off this script. And I'm gonna use another script that I have in the project called random audio loader. I'm gonna add that instead. So this one, it still does load an audio source at runtime, but what it's going to do, it's going to pick a random file to bang and bang and drag and drop them in here to add them to the resources folder. Okay, now I have four files in here. So um, I'm going to need to be able to tell what files are in the resource folder from my script and then pick one of them. So in the new script that I have, random audio loader, I use something called system IO. So the new function in start is get resource files. And then after that, I'm going to pick a random index from the first file to the last file. For music, I'm going to create an audio source off of that random file's name. And then I'll play it. So the new function here is get resource files, directory info. I just have to initialize it with the path for the resources folder on my computer. Application data path. And this will be um, the path of the assets folder on my computer. Then to that, I just add on the uh, backslash backslash resources to go to the assets resources folder and and the information I want to get from that directory are the files. Let's run this one. So now this one, we don't know which song it's going to play. I'm going to press play and it's not playing a song. You know why? I don't know why. Well, let's do, let's step through this in um, debug mode. So I'm going to say, Attach to Unity and play. And I'm going to put a breakpoint right here. So I'll press play. And right here, it's getting started up. It takes a little while longer. See the way the colors are two toned? That's because I'm um, in debug mode here. So here we can see we stopped on this line. Files equals get resource files start at MP3. And let's step into there and see directory info. Do we get a structure? Yes. And get files. Do we get files? Yes, we got four of them. One, two, three, four. And then we return the files. Okay. So that part worked. We got the files, four of them. Now let's see about the random number. Files at length is four. So this should give me a random number a random integer between zero and three because it never includes the last number. So my random integer is on this occasion zero. So files at zero dot name, let's see what that equals. That equals, should be music one. And let me just, um, since it's not popping up, let me do a quick watch. Yep, music one dot mp3. Oh. Now, remember when we did the audio loader, we said we have to give it and don't use the extension. That's what's happening. We're calling this function and it has the extension on it. Let me stop and 
for create audio source I wonder if there's a thing named without extension or there's a way to get it without the extension so let's see um, string file name equals files at r dot name and I think there's something I could use from the system IO it's um, path dot uh, get file name without extension and then pass in that name right there okay so file name should equal the file name without the extension and now I'll pass that in instead okay bam save and let's just see if that works I'm just gonna run unity straight to click my music object there and play okay loaded music one let's try it again it's loaded music one again let me try it again loaded music four so you see it's random every time I press play um, so that's it take a look at the script for the random loader which has everything this is create audio source and this is the um, get file names from the resource folder there you go